Hi, in this video we are going to create another HTML document and we are going to link it to a CSS document and we are going to talk about different kind of selectors to describe the HTML document. You need a textbook to learn HTML and CSS programming. I think this is a great textbook and this is how you should use this video. We, I have a secondary website um, to show some of the examples you can find it here so this is the website and that is the URL um, it's case sensitive so be careful this is capital and this is capital so on and so forth a couple of shortcut keys to talk about control S normally stands for save Control C is for copy and Control V is paste. Very important shortcut keys you need to use. So first let us decide where we want to put our file. So okay, let us open our file explorer, select C drive, TAM, HTML and CSS subfolder. We have already created a document called ex001 basic.htm so we can right click to copy this file so we right click copy go to another place right click paste and rename this file to ex003 selector.htm obviously this file is not uh, there's nothing inside right now so if we open it right click on it open it in notepad plus plus this is what we see inside there's nothing okay only the title so if we double click on it or we say open with Firefox it will be launched here in the Firefox. I'm going to move this guy to the right so you can see the output. And what we want to do today is to create something that looks like this. Example 003. The, the, the code is available on my website so you can if you click on this file. This, this is what we want to do. Okay. But right now it's blank. So let's first change the title. Let us first change the title to basic selectors. Control S to save. Control S to save. Reload here. You will see that the title is changed. So very good. Before we move on, let us see how to write HTML comments. So this is the start start of a HTML command. This is the end. S to save as you can see what you type in the command will not be shown here so this is just used to document your file let us first create a tag here in the body to show in the body if you want to show anything here in the body of HTML um, in a HTML page you need to type it within the body tag so this is a h1 tag and this is the end of your h1 tag press reload you will see that h1 tag is created here for you and the second tag we want to run is a p tag we want to write is a p tag p tag means paragraph so now it's very useful you can document stuff here paragraph tag so so you can write documentation here to describe what you have typed save control s to save reload you can see that the p tag is smaller than the h1 tag because h1 h stands for heading and, and then, okay, I don't need this anymore. I can just delete it. 
ul tag stands for unordered list and ul tag by itself does not do anything you actually need to add li tag inside to actually show the list so I'm going to show two listing one is Yahoo one is Google and they, they are shown here as um, an order list of course I want to create links these are not links these are just tags so I have to replace this with a link tag which is a tag end of a tag this is what you see on the screen and if you want to create a link you have to create href to actually link it to the URL and you have to type in a whole URL save your work control s reload you realize this guy is linked to Yahoo so if you click on it you go to Yahoo and you can create another tag by just copying the A tag here I'm going to create another link and rename this to Google and change the link don't don't forget to change your link to Google and when you reload you can link this to Google and this to Yahoo very good so you're almost done the last tag I want to do is a P tag another P tag and so you have another tag okay so let's do a validation of this page make sure that it satisfied the um, requirements of um, w2 w3c markup language so I go to my page and this is the URL of my page and click on the w3c markup validator browse this file check it passed okay sometimes you make a mistake and it doesn't pass let me try to do something bad here I say you made a mistake here. And it will give you an error, which is red. Not good. So you scroll down here, you realize that hey, 918 has error. Okay, sometimes the error is before or after the line, so it, this thing doesn't tell you much. So you have to try to read it and you realize you missed something so that would revalidate and fix your error so now you're good okay all right so now we have to link this to a CSS file to format the design of the page the layout and design of the page so I'm going to come here and create a new document a text document called ex003 selector dot CSS so this is a CSS file okay this is not a HTML document because you changed the extension and we are going to right click on it on it and open it in notepad plus plus so this is a CSS file this is a HTML file we are going to switch between the two files and we are going to link this file to this file by using a link tag and link tag does not have a closing tag say link this is a style sheet the property is style sheet and link to href link to
file name. So now the file is linked. If you reload, you don't see anything because I don't really, I haven't done anything in this file. This file is blank. So we are going to use that to describe. Okay. The first thing I want to do is uh, there are many ways of describing a HTML tag. Uh, before I move on, let me introduce commands. So this is CSS command. CSS commands are multi-line commands. Okay just like C++ or Java commands this is the starting tag of a command this is the ending tag just to describe what you have typed it doesn't do anything okay so they are f um, I'm going to talk about three selected types the first selected type I'm going to talk about is select by type basically you you describe a tag in the HTML file the tag I'm going to describe is a body type so everything inside the body type I'm going to change it okay the, th the thing I'm going to change is the font here is time new Roman it's not very nice I'm going to change it to Arial so say I'm going to say the body tag It has to be enclosed by the curly braces or parentheses, whatever you want to call it. Um, so the body tag form family is going to be Arial. If you do not have Arial, you can use any sans serial form. And you have to enclose it with a semicolon you have to end it with a semicolon so now if you reload you will realize the font of the page will change from time new roman to Arial font okay so that is select by type all right and the next thing i want to do is i'm going to do something called select by ID okay so I'm going to create ID here I'm going to say the ID is going to call it's going to be called main And we are going to say the width of the main is going to be 300 pixels. So I write some comments to describe it. And the padding is 1 EM. One default font size but nothing is called main here so it's not linked we have to link this main which is the ID to the selected.htm by going back to the selected.htm and we are going to add a ID let's say we're going to add an ID here by using a div tag and we are going to enclose the whole thing so this is the beginning of the div tag here and this is the end of the div tag and then I'm going to do the indentation nicely so now it looks better save your work you will realize they create an invisible box of the width and one padding so you shifted the location the position of the whole page so that's the first ID and we are going to create another ID called copyright and we are going to use it to move this copyright to the right of the box invisible box
and we are going to change a couple of things using this ID copyright we say the font size is going to be 75% and the text alignment is going to be right and obviously this is not going to change because we have not attached this ID to the main page so we switch back to the main page and say that uh, ID is equal to copyright so now our copyright is going to be smaller and move to the right side of the page and the last thing we are going to talk about is select by class Class does not use the pound sign. Pound sign is used by ID. Class use a dot, dot dot, and we are going to call this class base color. And we are going to say the color is blue. And we are going to attach the ID to two places first place is the h1 make sure the name is the same base color here and base color here so your h1 will be changed to blue something good about id is uh, sorry um, something good about class is it can be used for different uh, use at different places so we can use it in another location so I'm going to copy this and we are going to change our copyright to blue so the copyright has both a class and an ID so now your copyright is blue so we finish the page but before we um, finish the video I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between ID and class okay type is very straightforward you use it to describe the tags HTML tags or it's already there but ID and class are slightly different so first like I said IDs are unique so each element can only have one ID each page can only have one element with that ID but the class classes are not unique you can you when you have one class um, you can use the same class on multiple elements like one here and one here and same element let's say this guy you can have attached multiple classes to it so on and so forth so these are the differences okay and finally we need to validate the CSS page okay we validate the HTML page and we need to validate the CSS page okay let's validate this HTML page again so we go to the my page go to the markup validator so this is to mark up the HTML this is to validate the HTML page so markup validation look for the HTML file and it passed so the next thing is we are going to validate the CSS validator so make sure this is the CSS validator not the mark uh, not the H markup validator they are different things so this is for HTML this is for CSS if you um, go to the wrong validator they are not going to find anything which is not very good so now we are going to browse the CSS file and it passed so we are good so we finished the HTML and CSS file and we talk about the different selectors we did three selectors here and we are done for the video thank you very much for watching bye